Sydney and Auckland among world's first major cities in 2024. Revelers applauded spectacular fireworks display that lit up sky over Sydney Harbour and New Zealand's tallest structure, Sky Tower. As the clocks struck midnight in Australia, Tons of explosives were detonated in a 12-minute demonstration focusing on the Sydney Harbour Bridge. More than one million people watched from the shore and from boats in the harbour. This is absolute madness, said Jana Thomas, a German tourist who has been queuing since 7.30 a.m. to get a prime beachfront spot at the Sydney Botanic Garden. It's not that easy to find a good place to sit, but the view is incredible. In Auckland, light rain that had been falling all day had stopped. As predicted, by midnight in city of 1.7 million people, before a countdown began on an illuminated digital display near top of 328 meters communications and observation tower. Ongoing wars in Ukraine and Gaza and rising tensions around the world are affecting this year's new Year's Eve celebrations in various ways. Many cities have implemented extra security measures, and some places have cancelled New Year's Eve events entirely. More police than ever have been deployed across Sydney. The waterfront was seen of heated pro-Palestinian protests after sales of Sydney Opera House were illuminated in Israeli flag colors in response to an October 7 attack by Palestinian militant group Hamas that triggered war. Pope Francis reminded at the Vatican that 2023 will be a year filled with the suffering of wartime. During his traditional Sunday prayer from a window overlooking St. Peter's Square, he prayed for the oppressed Ukraine, the people of Palestine and Israel, the Sudan and many others. Fireworks explode at the Sky Tower in Auckland, New Zealand to celebrate the new year on Monday, January 1st. 2024. At end of year, we will courage to ask ourselves many lives have been destroyed. Many people. Destruction there has been. Much pain. Poverty because of armed conflict. Pope said. Whoever has an interest in these conflicts should listen to the voice of conscience. At Tsukiji Temple in Tokyo. Visitors who lined up to ring large bell were treated to free hot milk and corn soup and a pipe organ concert was held in front of Magnificent Altar. In New York City, officials and party organizers said they were ready to ensure the safety tens of thousands revelers expected to flood Times Square in Midtown Manhattan. Mayor Eric Adams said there is no specific threat to the annual New Year's Eve party, which will feature televised live performances by Flo Rida, Megan Thee Stallion and LL Cool J as well as Cardi B and others. Although foot traffic around Times Square has decreased slightly since the pandemic, in-person attendance is expected to return to pre-COVID levels, organizers said, amid almost daily protests sparked by Israel-Hamas war in Gaza. New York police said they would expand the security perimeter around party, creating a buffer zone.